afternoon, Dr. Niloy Mandir. How are you doing? I'm fine. Welcome to the SECON conference. Yes. So, sir, uh, we are here for a quick conversation today to have a quick chat. So, we basically wanted to uh, understand what was your thought process behind creation of this course, Surgery MS. Yes. So, in the digital world, now we are in an, so such an era that what the students, most of our students are very much accustomed with this digital learning process. Mm -hmm. And we are also accustomed to this process in the when the COVID era started this e-learning process as well as this uh, digital learning process. And as a result, we have also understood that digital learning process is a good platform for the learning as well as for the understanding any critical situations, critical decision makings as well as theoretical or practical purposes. In our thought, the postgraduate examinations is a basically a multi-dimensional aspect. You have to cross the long question tables, short question tables, then word rounds, as well as the practicals, instruments, x-rays, specimens, as well as some critical thinking or the decision making what a uh, examiner will want from a postgraduate student. Because just after passing these examinations, a postgraduate student will be a consultant right. and his decision will be a final one. So we have to also think of whether that consultant is safe for the society or not. Right. So we also judge their critical thinkings, their, whether their thinkings are rational or not, whether their understandings are rational or not, whether their thought of process are rational or not, as well as their basic understanding of the subject. Right. That is why we also, after uh, studying all the standard national and international textbooks, we have understood that in these three years of course, cross, crossing all these word, word activities, uh, a postgraduate student cannot acquire all this theoretical knowledge in a uh, very uh, good manner. Right. So, in this digital platform, we are focusing first mainly on the how to tackle or how to face a practical examination. Right. That is right. how a long questions will be, what is the standard uh, questions from the examiners in a long question table, long case table, what are the questions in a short case table, how the examiner will ask about the uh, instruments, some specific instruments and some standard instruments. That is we have think of first how to face a practical examination. Right. As well as we have to include some of the specific chapters or some of the specific topics for the better understanding of the theory. Right. That is why we have included some uh, do's or don'ts, mm -hmm. that is some also some benchmark trials, mm -hmm. some OSCEs, some ASIC tools, some printed notes and the overall is an AI chatbot that is helpful also for the understanding of the right. students. Right. After covering these all these things, we have again understood that if we can cover this uh, a standard textbook in a digital format as well as in an uh, understanding format, we can also uh, cover a standard textbook in a uh, sh short period of time. Right. That is why uh, Dr. Sunil has done a very excellent job. He has almost covered all these chapters of uh, Belila, that is a uh, most uh, acclaimed international textbook for the undergraduate and the postgraduate students and is, he has done covered all these uh, chapters in a uh, like for format uh, in a teaching teaching format in the digital platform so our their understandings will be a good and rational one and next our thinking was shifted that most of our postgraduate students now wanted to be a super specialist. Right. That is why we have now started to include the uh, super speciality contents like how to uh, crack a uh, multiple choice question in a neat SS examinations. Right, right. And Dr. Sunil has uh, done this in a very excellent way. He has uh, covered these uh, previous years uh, super speciality question papers 
with his answers what is the correct answer and how that is the what is the explanation how we have uh, obtained other three choices and choose the Sorry. most correct answer i think uh, in this uh, our this learning platform will very much helpful for the our postgraduate student to crack the postgraduate examinations to go, be a very good and uh, professions professional and as well as to help crack up super specialty examinations yeah, yeah. I think so that very well explains how the course is also structured on our app Digina. Yes. My next question to you is how do you think this course will help the residents to improve and enhance their clinical skills? Yes. That is very important. We in our clinical experiences we have already understood that our MBBA students have cracked the postgraduate entrance examinations and become a postgraduate trainee but uh, during our ward clinics or during our practical experience we have uh, understood that most of the students have some dearth in the understanding of their knowledge mm -hmm. basic clinical knowledge that is why our thought process uh, goes to that you have to improve their clinical thinking their thing that, that is the very important for an uh, medical professionals because if your thinking will not be a rational one, you have cannot choose and write investigations. You cannot do a proper management. And the most important thing in which in which patient what you should not do. That exactly. is the most important teaching possible. In which patient this procedure should not be do. In which patient this procedure should do. That is the most important one. But that is for this. You have to be a good clinical understanding. That Absolutely. is why we have uh, included that particularly this is my uh, thinking for the very uh, few years that I will include it in uh, that do's and don'ts. I have collected all these do's and don'ts from all these uh, standard textbooks and all this in, and uh, collected in a single platform. Right. That is my basic. Right. We do have a different module altogether, clinical examinations yes. which covers this. Yes. Right. That the clinical examinations, we have so many clinical examinations books in the in a uh, hard, hard uh, format. But in the digital format, how to exactly examine a case, mm -hmm. how to palp inspect, how to palpate how to aus auscultate or uh, part part so that is a parts of our clinical examinations. Right. So how that should be exactly what how the clinician should do that clinical examinations. That that is why we have converted this uh, hard format into a digital format, and the clinician, uh, uh, I, I think the most uh, one of our uh, Mr. Uh, Professor Doctor. Uh, SRB has done mm -hmm. most of this uh, clinical examination pharmacies right. in our digital apps and uh, he has done a very excellent jobs for uh, demonstrating these clinical examination pharmacies. I think that will be a very much helpful as well as for uh, facing the uh, practical examinations and for their daily uh, clinical activities. Absolutely, I'm sure about that sir. So my next question to you is, we do see a lot of learners going for textbooks rather than digital platforms. So how do you think that digital platforms supplement the textbook learning? I don't think uh, they are not uh, to each other. They are not supplementary to each other. They are basically uh, uh, complementary to each other. Is our uh, uh, Textbook cannot be a substitute to a digital learning process. A digital learning process cannot be a substitute. Also. But right. in this digital era, when we have already so much technological support, I think the these our previous uh, previous traditional learning, learning process has uh, already we have to reach that era, and we have to improvise that learning process uh, by this digital learning process, not by replacing that traditional learning process. Right, right. That is, uh, I think that is the base rational approach to Right. So, uh, 
Uh, my last question to you is, what is your vision for this course? How how do you see this course evolving in future and catering to the needs of residents and helping them improve their surgical skills? I think uh, uh, we have already reached a, a certain amount of one certain uh, milestones that yes, we have covered these uh, clinical purpose, clinical parts. We have covered the text parts also, right. and now we are. Uh, covering the super specialty parts, we are covering some of the super specialty parts. But I think in the future, we will also uh, cover some of these, uh, also some topics related to some special topics, I think some recent advances. Absolutely. I think so that is that is very important very for important. the postgraduate student as well as for the professionals. We can uh, focus on that recent advances, we can add some other benchmark trials and we can attach them over some recent instrumentations and they are uses by some renowned uh, professionals from an, uh, premier institutions. I think that will be a, a great experience for the all of our students of all the countries because Absolutely. in most of this is a practical vision that in our government institutions we cannot encounter all these sophisticated investigations. Mm. That facility is not in the medical facility, uh, medical colleges. So, in our digital platform, we can uh, visualize that instrument, use of that uh, modern instruments or the recent instrumentations uh, for some uh, complicated surgical processes. I think that will be helpful for in their future uh, professional life. Absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts, Dr. Miller Mandel. Thank you. Thank you. I thank congratulate you, you for the integration of NEED SS Sir, Hello. welcome to the SACON conference. Thank you. Sir, I wanted to understand what was your thought process before the, uh, creating this course? This, this course is basically done for uh, postgraduates of general surgery uh, who are uh, uh, actively pursuing the course and who also want to prepare for uh, NEET SS and INICET. We have discussed the uh, all the important uh, theory topics. We also discussed the important MCQs which will be asked in NEET SS or INICET. It also has a lot of uh, important clinical things as a postgraduate need to know to help them to prepare for their future practice. So I wanted to understand what do you think are the major challenges that we face in the surgical education field today and how does our course address that? If you see how uh, surgery was taught in the past when we were residents and what what is happening today. Uh, there is a lot of uh, shift in the way we teach. With the advent of uh, digital media, no? nowadays people want uh, teaching through uh, digital media. So, to address this issue, we have bought this course. Here we are uh, discussing all the important topics of general surgery, GI surgery, thoracic surgery, cardiovascular surgery all the specialties and this, this is in the form of lectures we also included all the surgical videos for PGs to understand what the examiner wants them to know. Sir, uh, my next question to you is how do you think this course strikes a perfect balance between preparation for residency exams and also clinical practice? Uh, See, nowadays, uh, many of the people, they want uh, to do some kind of subspeciality or super speciality after doing general surgery. So, in this course, uh, we are, apart from discussing the important things uh, from theory point of view, we are also discussing all the previous need SS questions and uh, uh, INICT questions. And all these discussions are done in a way with the clinical uh, things in mind. For example, you get a patient of abdominal trauma or if you have a patient who has brain death or if you have a patient uh, who has a liver trauma, 
how to practically manage this patient and how questions can be framed on this topic for your neat assess for ini cet and also which kind of questions will be asked in your theory all these things have been discussed in this and it has been discussed in a way that you understand the subject and once you understand the subject you can immediately apply those concepts in your clinical practice absolutely yeah. application is the most important so i wanted to understand as a lot of people are heavily dependent on textbooks for their learning how do you see this course is supplementing their uh, textbook learning so as you said textbooks are very important we all have to read standard textbooks but what happens is when you read textbooks studied with so much of information you don't know what is important and what is not important these lectures are designed in a way that when you listen to these lectures and when you go back and read those textbooks everything start making sense and other thing is most of the textbooks will not give you clinical scenarios they will also may not have if you are using a printed textbook they may not have clinical videos or they do not they may not have operative videos this course tries to overcome all these shortcomings so it's a complete course and will also help you to make you understand textbook better so my last question to you is how do you see this course evolving better to cater to the needs of surgical students yeah so this is the uh, i would say a beginning we are getting lot of feedbacks from lot of students so we are going to try to incorporate try to incorporate all these feedbacks and evolve with time and trying to make it better and better lovely it's just great interacting with you sir